Hello, you guys. Welcome in. Uh, Duff and I were were messing around with the disco ball, as you can see. He he was doing this really cute thing, and I was like, "Oh, if you guys could see this, it would be really cute." He was like sticking his paws out. He couldn't quite he couldn't quite touch it, so he was like, ah, you know, like trying to reach it, and then finally hooked a claw in and made it start going back and forth. So hello, you guys. Again, I apologize for canceling on such short notice yesterday. It was it, it was one of those days. You know those days where you're like, ah! Or anyway, I was like that. So thank you for being here tonight. I am going to stream on Friday just to make up for yesterday. Uh, it's good to see you guys. It's good to see you. I don't know why this animal is so annoying right now. What are you doing? You want to go farming in outer space? You want to go farming in outer space, Duffy? Is that what? Are you just so excited to go farming in outer... Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad idea. I have a feeling this is going to be a very bad idea. He's close to the disco ball there. I don't know if he's noticed that he's close to the disco ball yet, but he's very close to this disco ball. Hold on, I have to... <laughs> I, like, didn't want him to fall off, but... He jumped anyway. Yeah, turn the chair and he launches. I know, I was I was trying to avoid launching him off into the middle of nowhere, but um, we did we did so anyway. So it's good to see you, Yuri. How have you been? It's been a while. Otago, Otago got his hat. Finally, I have to say I am really bad at shipping things. It's been done for a long time and I'm really glad it finally got to you. Um, <laughs> yes, a Friday stream. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a Friday stream. All sorts of wild craziness, you know? Uh, I did? I got your address wrong? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Still got it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I'm trying to think how... So like Mama Boss and I put together all the packages for the holidays all at the same time. And I think I may have just been doing um, like everything all at once. Right Beyond Anne? You wish. You wish. So how's the Colonia Bridge going? I know, right? Mining is a lot of fun, though. I do love mining. Mining is amazing. But you know what? We have something really, really fun and different tonight. And um, I've, I've, I've previewed. All I can say is I've previewed the game. We are going to be experiencing this together, okay? This is, this is going to be... Hold on. I have to, like, fully... Um, I have to fully commit, change over my status and everything on, on Discord. Uh, I know, I know, isn't it? It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, Sean. It's a real headset. Look at this. This thing is, this thing is gorgeous. Like, oh my dear gosh. I don't deserve, I don't deserve We Miss the Ginger. It's like the sound quality is so good we were playing PUBG, and i was like i hear someone walking like 20 feet away and they're like sneaking around it was great um it's the corsair let me pull it up um i was going to get okay let me tell you guys the story because i feel you know it's one of those things like i as you guys could see i don't buy things for myself like this has been like this and the cord's been falling apart you know it's been like this for, for years now, right? And I, I haven't bought, like, you know, I was the person with the bald tires in the truck for like three years. I don't, I try not to buy new things for myself often. I just, I don't, I don't feel justified doing it. But um, I had someone say to me, go get the freaking new headset. And I was like, okay, I'll, I hear ya. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, and I sent over, I found, I found the same headset I'd gotten before, which worked just fine. I sent it to them and they're like, that's too cheap. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm I'm not allowed to buy the cheap headset, apparently. So I went with the Corsair HS80. The HS80. Um, so that's the one I ended up going with. And it's really lovely. It's like, it fits nicely. My hair isn't getting pinched in the, like, little thing. It, it can be both corded and uncorded. The mic quality from my friends, it sounds pretty darn good. Obviously I'm not using, not using the mic on it, but you know, I could, I could theoretically. 
Hello, Senior Quibble. And Sir Cupcake Man. Hello, Sir Cupcake Man. But anyway, Vault, good to see you. Good to see you. So, this is a new game. I got this through, I got this through Keymailer. So, uh, there's a site, if you guys don't know about it, it's called Keymailer. And if you're, if you're a content creator, basically, you can use the site to, to request keys for games. And then you, you do some sort of, you know, you check them out. And then if you do a good job checking them out, they give you more keys for more games kind of thing. And you're not always guaranteed to get them and, and all this stuff. So I, I look through every now and then kind of to see what's coming up and what's interesting. Um, and this particular game, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for us. This is like, this is our game. Maybe, who knows if it plays well, I don't know, right? So I've gotten on for about like 10 minutes. So it, I know it's not horrible. Uh, I, that's as far as I've gotten. I know it's not horrible. I think it's really cool. To me, it looks like satisfactory in space. Uh, yes, Duffy, Duffy smacked the disco ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So no, that, that was intentional. I meant it to be spinning, but he's the one that batted it back and forth. Yep. <laughs> DJ Mayberry. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we got we got wild. We were dancing before stream. We're dancing before stream, and uh, let's see. I, I do have a song. Where's our? Let me make sure. I'm just gonna keep the sound low and then go into. Turn it up as we go. So, apparently, we're the best farmer on Earth, and we're being sent into outer space to set up a colony. Score! Thank you for two different gifted subs to Yuri and DJ Maybear. DJ Maybear, Yuri, you guys. Welcome into the boss bar. You now have access to those free boss brews for the entire month. We also have, you don't have to be a sub to get this. Anybody in the chat can type in exclamation point plant. It will give you a chance to win a $50 gift card. And you also get your name on one of these little cute handy dandy plant tags. Okay, you guys see these plant tags? So they have a blank side, obviously, and then they have the name. So what I'm going to do is when I get my seeds in the mail, I will be writing on the blank side, the variety. I'm planting all the seeds at the same time. Whoever's seeds sprout first gets the gift card. Are they coming? Oh my God, Quakers, they're so amazing. Like literally, I can walk to the other side of my house and except when I'm like, my head is in my refrigerator, they stay working. I think you just changed my life completely. Like it's, it's amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing. So yeah. Uh, oh, hmm. why isn't it? All right, let me make sure it's okay. Now you can type exclamation point plan. <laughs> now you can type it. There you go. We have to start. I was wondering if we had to start it up every day. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So you guys are going to be in my garden. And so what we're going to do with that is we are going to do updates throughout the year. You know, there's going to be certain plants that are our early showers. And then there's going to be the late bloomers, you know? Can I win? No, I wish. I wish I, wish I could give away GPUs. We have, we're actually supporting a community member right now, an elite dangerous content creator named Mechanic Man in getting a new GPU. He just wants a 1080. He just wants a 1080. He doesn't want anything fancy. He just needs enough to get a 1080. Um, you're, you're fighting Spargle in video games? Okay, yes, go enjoy fighting with Spargle in video games. Go enjoy. Okay, so. This is our, you know, this is our space theme song. So I hear that you guys are doing some really interesting stuff this week in Elite Dangerous. So the the third, is this the third leg of the Colonial Bridge um, community goals going on? You'd be happy with a 1050? Yeah. 
And, and it seems like just from Inara, it seems like it's going pretty darn well if it's not completed already. Um, it definitely does seem like it's going pretty darn well for you guys. And it's very exciting. I got in on the second one. I, I feel very, I'm good personally, but I'm glad you guys are working hard on it because I will use that bridge. <laughs> I was on, I was on part two. So, okay, without further ado, you guys ready to go farm on the moon? Of course, there's there's no game. There's no game. You're like, boss, where's the game? I guess I should sign into the game, you know? I mean, it might be a good idea. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. What is it? Where's the... It has a funny name. It doesn't actually... I don't think it's actually Moon Farmer. Or maybe it is. Maybe it's under my... Oh, it's under my, so they do have the demo. They do have the demo for free. I think that you can try out as well. Uh, yes, Maybear, they are fantastic at helping each other out. Okay. So where are we at with this? Very generous community. Okay. So. All right, so so this is this is the prologue, right? It doesn't represent the final look of the game. It contains prototypes of the mechanics that we're working on. They'll change compared to what you will experience in the final version. We want to hear from you what you liked and didn't like in this game. Uh, your voice as a player matters most to us. Okay, so this is this is a in a way this is a prototype, right? So we're gonna do this single player. Let's see if I can do a new game. All right, we're gonna call this, we're gonna call this uh, the, the boss farm. All right. And there are, there are some voice lines. So hopefully uh, the sound is up loud enough that you guys will be able to hear the voice, the voice lines in here. Uh, yeah, oh no, beyond, beyond, no! Both your commanders were bumped down a tier. There's a lot of people doing last minute stuff, huh? Oh, oh man. All right, so here we are. Let's see. Let's see what this game's all about. All right, you guys tell me. Hi, Melto Snowflakes. The moon, the brightest and largest object in our night sky. Uh, oh, it does not like you alt-tabbing. More livable planet by moderating our home planet's wobble on its axis. Leading to a relatively stable climate. We visited the moon half a century ago, and have not been back since. Sorry guys, it's really quiet and there's no way to mess with the sound right now that's one small step for man one giant leap for mankind but there is still so much we don't know about the moon <laughs> we still aren't totally sure how the moon formed oh how it formed huh Maybe I've just been watching too much Expanse, but the astronaut looks like Holden. I don't know why. Too much Expanse. There are still a lot of moon rocks left to analyze. We learned that water exists on the moon. But we don't know exactly how much. <gasps> Okay, I can finally watch the season then. Are we ready to set up a colony for humans? Yeah, 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 yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, we're growing moons. Yes, we're making our own moons with little moon seeds.
Yeah, you're, you're great. It's a whole new experience on this planet. You'll get used to it in no time. Okay, okay. I am quitting. Is there any way to... Hold on, let me see if I can... If I can get the sound up a bit because it's very quiet and I want you guys to be able to hear it. So quiet, guys. All right, so so apparently the trip to the moon might have been so long that we forgot why we're here. Okay, so we have no idea why we're here. <laughs> I don't know that there's no. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, fishing. Yeah, fishing. Uh huh. Okay. So, so we've been sent out here. We're the first ones, and we're we're like the advanced party. It's kind of like on Icarus. We're the first ones down, and we have to like, you know, set up. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? We do. I don't know. I don't know. It does. It seems a little bit like it. Okay. Okay. All right. So we got a stockpile. But I got my seeds. I brought my seeds with me. I'm a farmer, so I'll figure this other stuff out, right? Hi, Thundernut! <laughs> I play Elite Dangerous. I know about tedious resource extraction. Oh, okay. So there's going to be some like other places that we can go. We can like scavenge maybe. So we're not the first. We're not the first. Dang it. Don't worry. The only country Gavella bases won't sue you for taking their stuff. In fact, they volunteered their bases for the sake of humanity. Oh, really? I could potentially get sued. I don't trust you, lady. I don't trust you. We need to name the we need to name the commander. Yes! That's what I'm here for! I'm here to farm! Okay. Oh. Am I? Am I one of the best farmers on Earth? Now then, let's get started. <laughs> Doris? We should name her Doris? For all humans to survive on the moon, you will need to have basic stuff like water, air, and food. Correct? For that reason, we need to cover those needs. We have an old base not far from here. Okay. Right? I know! Farming on the moon! We're farming on the moon! Uh, hey boss, can I ask you a question? Not game related. Maybe? You can use a rover Go for it. To drive to that old base. Don't worry, you can drive as fast as you want. We don't have police radars here yet. No police radars on the moon, guys! GTA moon! Oh, okay. All right. Keep an eye on your hunger, your water, and your oxygen levels. If the levels drop to zero, you'll start to lose health and will eventually die. We can die in this game. You can replenish your stats by consuming the appropriate item. Yes, right? Well, what I was going to say is you can ask any question you want. I don't have to answer it, though. But you are more than welcome to ask questions. Uh, all marriage proposals must go through beyond Aeon first. Yeah, wait until the Space Force patrols. I don't know what happens when I die. We'll have to find out. I'm guessing this is something we're probably going to find out. Okay, so if we press T. So T. Oh, what's this? Is this the pod I came down in? This must be the pod I came down in. This is actually kind of cool. It looks a little bit like an air fresher. Oh, look, there's the earth. There's the earth, you guys. Is that, is that, is that, 
Asia? It's like... Is that Russia? Is it centered on Russia? I'm so confused. Or is that the North American continent? It looks really weird! This maybe we're in an alien... Maybe we're in an alien um, solar system. Okay. I can't tell either. Alright, let's go check out our rover. So we've got pretty good right now. So we've got food, we got water, O2. Our O2 is kind of low. Look at this though! <laughs> Guys. I found Raxla. I did. I found Raxla. So I have to point out the doors on this look super tiny. Right? Right? But, but, just wait. Oh, I have to stand near the door. Oh, there we go. All right. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Whee! Guys, we're driving on the moon. Yeah. We're driving on the moon. Look at how well this thing handles. Look at this. Look at this. Nebula Wolf, I almost thought it was either Star Citizen or Surprise Elite Dangerous Update. Where's your jump jets? I don't know if we have. Oh, no, that's the break. That's the break. I don't think so. Hey, Vance, welcome in. Yeah. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty nice. I know, we need a crater jumping. I did, I did try and, um,. I did try and see if I could roll the uh, the SRV here. The rover. The rover. But look at this. So this looks really steep, right? This looks super steep. But it's actually just the texture. Oh no, this one's actually steep. Okay, maybe we could flip it. Maybe we could. No, we're trying to... We're, we... Guys, you're bad influence. We're trying to... We're trying to... Uh... We're trying to farm on the moon. Uh, so go as fast as you want. May have been exaggerated. I know, there's only so fast you can go, right? There's only so fast you can go. Doris was like, yeah, you know, go as fast as you want. And then they're like, ha, 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 just kidding. Low G, you can only go so fast. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, you don't get enough of that in Elite. Well, whoa. Okay, thank you, Doris. And yeah, I bet you are wondering why this cyber truck is here. Well, one of the famous technical guys, Enos, has a hobby of shooting different cars into space. That's why one of his cars landed here. And yes, be careful. Maybe some other car can fall down from the space. <laughs> so, so we haven't seen it yet. Okay, so this is like the tutorial, right? But here, so, so she says, so you're probably wondering, you're probably wondering why there's a space truck here. There's a, uh, there's a, there's a, uh, <laughs> a billionaire that keeps shooting, shooting, uh, cars into space. You better watch out. One could fall from space. Yeah. Look at this guys. Dodge we we've got we've got a space truck. Look at this. We got a Tesla. My <laughs> exactly, Valscore. We got a Tesla. This is a pretty fancy base if it came with a Tesla. We're gonna be doing our farming in a Tesla. I know I love the Dodge coin. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> can we oh yeah we can crouch oh that's great look at that look at his little face <laughs> look at his little face i know uh and it does seem that there's stuff it does seem there's like materials that we can collect outside so i'm sure this will come into play at some point i'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the tutorial though yeah is that funny is it great i was just like okay this this game this game's got a sense of humor it's got a sense of humor right um, so we got our airlock. All right. So as Mark Watney found out, uh, this is the, the, 
the point of failure on a lot of stations and habs because it gets the most use. So we're going to turn on our air and then we're going to open the inner door. So, uh, I mean, I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel like the walls are judging me. They're a little bit scared. Maybe they're just looking at me a little bit. Uh, yeah, I know. It feels like Subnautica in space. Yeah, it kind of has that feeling, doesn't it? It does. It kind of does. So, uh, but there's faces everywhere. <laughs> Maybe we should close this door just in case, you know? Alrighty, so let's let's see what Doris has to say. Space Nautica, right? Yeah. You know, I've never played through the whole story of Subnautica. Ship Nautica. Yes, I think that probably is the first thing we should do. Okay. Solar panels will absorb the sunlight, <gasps> to usable energy and store really? batteries. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be stealing the sun and putting it in a battery? This is great. Okay. Always place solar panels where the sunlight can hit the glass pane, or else it won't generate any batteries. Pretty pretty yep. collect enough energy to store in a battery. Okay. 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 Number three, solar panel has a storage compartment that is used to store batteries. Once the battery is generated, it can be retrieved from the storage compartment. Come okay. back to me when you are done, or do you want me to explain again? Good luck. Thank you, Doris. So, this is a little tutorial thing. is showing us how to put this solar panel down, and then it generates its batteries inside it. So, let's grab the solar panel, put that on our bar. Let's, I guess, maybe put these things on our, I guess. Let's put these on our bar. So, in case we need them. Maybe he did! Valskar got his name back! He did! Welcome in, Kirwan. Oh, right, right, right. We have to depressurize. Okay. So, we have to put it somewhere where the sun, I'm guessing that's the sun over there, can, can hit it. Yeah, Valskor, who's that? Who's that? Yep. Okay. Uh, can we rotate it? Yes, we can. So, I'm going to put it here. Okay. So, it should tell me. Oh, look at that. So it's showing how long until we have a battery. Yeah, right? Someone new! Yeah, right? I know, I miss bis Big Boss Chris V, too. We haven't seen Big Boss Chris V in a long time, you know? <laughs> Ooh, look at this light. I wonder if we can... No, we can't move it. Alright, so we set up our power generation. Oh, yeah, I guess we gotta close the door. And let's see what Doris wants now. Excellent. Now you need to build the water extraction machine. Do you know that there is water on the moon? By the way, I looked this up. Wikipedia when you get back to Earth. It really, they have found, they actually found water on the moon, you guys. Very, very cool. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <sighs> yeah, so water on the moon. By the way, do you know why does water never last at Jared? It isn't mm. a sign of dry humor. Doris! Doris, no! Guys, our AI. Our AI is telling jokes. By the way, do you know why does water never laugh at jokes? It's not a fan of dry humor. Dry humor. Ah! Uh, oh no, we're doomed. Now on to building the water extraction 
We're doomed, you guys. Okay. Okay. Double bubble. Or Laffy Taffy, maybe. Okay. Number one, in order for them to work, they need to be placed on the moon's surface. Okay, yes. To extract water from the moon's surface, it needs to be placed on the moon's surface. Makes sense. Okay. Number two. <laughs> Okay. But what if I'm dying from thirst? Doris, what if I'm dying from thirst? Okay, so each of these machines seems to have like an internal storage that it goes into. Yeah, is prologue is the is the prologue free to play? I know there's definitely a demo, but the prologue probably is free to play as well. I got the key through key mailer. So I don't know. Boss is thirsty. I am Shaoshin. I am very thirsty. I already ran out of water. Look at this. It's all gone. No, Doris, I'm good. I can we're good. We're good. We'll go get the water extractor now. <laughs> uh, did Doris already mention the, I'll explain it later about the dirty water. Yeah. Yeah. Doris was like, by the way, the water is not drinkable, but I'll explain that later. I was like, okay. Okay, Doris. Wait. Oh. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. How you doing? Tony always likes plaid. It's his favorite. It's his favorite uh, combination of fabric. All right, so we have we have our our water extractor. Let's put it kind of near our door so that we can come right out, kind of get our water. Like, how about right here? Does that sound good? I do. Just leaves the. I know. I do. Look at this. Look. Anything could get in. Space monsters could get in. All right, so it's slowly opening. All right, so it's slowly extracting water out of out of the ground, which is fantastic, right? Are you opening anything? No, we're starting a farm. We're starting a farm on the moon. I am one of Earth's best farmers, and now I'm on the moon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they judged Earth's best farmers, but uh, apparently I made the cut. Apparently I made the cut. I don't know how. All right. While the machines produce the resources you convey, the water filtration plant. Ah. Ah. So we can we can filter. Okay. Briefly mentioned before, the water from the water extraction machine, in order uh -huh. to make it drinkable and usable for farming, it needs to be filtered. What? Plants don't like dirty water. All right. To keep in mind is that it needs to be placed inside a structure to work. Oh, it can't be placed outside. I'll explain how to use this machine later. So okay. Now, go and place a water filtration plan. Come back and talk to me when you're done or you need a reminder. Good luck. Okay. So apparently the temperature outside doesn't Wait, what? The temperature doesn't really uh work outside. Um, I think Prologue is on Steam. I think it is Neo Raider. I think it is. I think it is. All right, so it has to be indoors. So let's let's place our water filtration unit here. Okay, so so this is clean water. How's our? Oh, we need. We actually do need. Uh, let's use oxygen. Water. Okay. No, no, that sound effect. No, we don't need it. <laughs> as dirty as I You know what? If we could find a, a, a beyond Aeon brain purifier, we'd be in good shape. Next up is the oxygen extraction machine. 
Ooh, oxygen extraction! Yay! Okay. So the oxygen extraction machine will be getting us oxygen from dirty water. Wouldn't that be dirty oxygen? Spells, thank you so much for bringing your community on in here. We are doing some farming on the moon. We're setting up an advanced colony to farm food to help humans populate the solar system. So welcome in, you guys! Thank you, Valscore, for rolling out the welcome wagon. Hit the dance floor, grab a drink, sit on down, relax. And uh, we, we've named the AI that's walking us through this process Doris. We also have a space Tesla. <laughs> it might. It might, Tony. If we inhale dirty oxygen, it could give us bad breath. Yep. Yes! <laughs> Aw, thank you, Spells. Thank you so very, very much. Good to see you guys. So, yes, welcome in. All right, so we're learning about how to make the basics. So it is a survival thing. There are different metrics we have to keep up. Food, water, oxygen. Okay, so we got to keep this going. Otherwise, we die. So we're learning about the oxygen machine. It's been, it's been intense. It's been good, but it's been intense. I, um, I'm managing a really large project right now and it's in the bidding phase. So it's a lot of coordinating with very different personalities, a lot of different people, and there's a lot writing on it right now. So I'm in that point of being like, I am the person that makes or breaks the project for all the beautiful contractors that have submitted their bids. The client is very hard to read. And so I haven't gotten a decision back from the client on whether we are going to proceed or not. And it's, it's very stressful, but uh, the lowest bidder, the highest bidder, probably in the middle, hopefully, hopefully in the middle, I would hope. But it is, yeah, I could use a beer. I could use a beer. I could use a beer. I really could use a beer. I'll have a, I'll have a beer after stream, after stream beer. Or actually, you know what? Wait. I really, games need to let you alt tab without turning the music off. Okay. Oh, man, she's having us put all this stuff out, but like not teaching us how to use it. I feel like she's gonna, she's gonna like be like, you better give me some carrots or I won't give you your ox or I won't tell you how to use your oxygen machine. You know, like I, I feel like Doris is going to turn on us. Has anybody watched uh, the Westworld reboot show? You know, the show, not the original movie, but the. But the, uh, the HBO show, Doris. Okay, so we've got, this is our, ooh, look at this. Oh, this looks fancy. So this is the oxygen extraction plant. I'm guessing we just put the dirty water in and then it, we probably need a battery. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, not that one. Basically, it's like a theme park with with robots that become sentient. Sorry, I just ruined the whole the whole movie or show for you guys. But the uh, that's I mean, that's that's the premise. It may or may not happen. You never know. Now, OK, you've placed the basic life support systems. You need to know how to use them. It, it may be, Robert, it may be. It's hard to tell. OK. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Like, we put the batteries in, batteries run out, we have to replace them. It's kind of upkeep, right? Uh, the cake was a lie and Gladys was a potato. Wait, Gladys is the potato? 
Can we skip the part where we're making a Yeah, we have to make a speakeasy. That would be fantastic. Oh, okay. Okay, so we need to get four oxygen tanks and four water bottles. I wonder, I wonder if, uh, oh, I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense that it opens in. So we have a space Tesla, you guys, uh, everybody who's just joining us. So, ah! Jesus Christ, holy fuck. nice and uh sound quality is very very in depth <laughs> thank you for the biddies though thank you very much for that all right let's close the door so what do we need first water or oxygen let's get water first so we stick a battery in can we split yeah we can split the stack so dirty water in turn on see how this goes uh, what kind did you decide to get? As in uh, the Tesla? What kind of Tesla did we decide to get? Oh, wait. Who? What? I'm going to have fun on the next Icarus stream. Oh, headset. Oh, oh, oh. It's um this one. There we go. It's the, it's the Corsair HS80. Very nice. It, it's very nice. I am, like, it's very comfortable. It's... It works like the sound quality is so good. I was playing some PUBG with directional sound and I was, it was, it was kind of freaking me out though, because I could hear everything. I could hear everything. I'm like, I can hear them. They're walking nearby. I know they're nearby. Okay. So for water, so this is, this is processing, this is processing through, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to grab the rest of this dirty water because we don't have a lot of water yet, right at this stage and put the rest of the dirty water in here with the rest of the batteries and turn this on. So, oh shoot, we got to turn this off. So we're saving the battery. Okay. Woo! Woo! Have to admit that I found really nice was the upgrade in sound quality for my old headset. Not quite sensor or Bose quality, but pretty damn good. Yes. Yes, Sean. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so how long does this... It, it goes. It seems like it goes pretty quickly. Yeah. Your first pair of Turtle Beach. But the best part... You know what the best part is? No cord! No cord! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's... It's really nice. It's really nice. Watch out for those space cougars. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> you got me good. What's the battery life? Um, so far it seems pretty decent. It seems pretty decent. I don't know. I haven't really tested and timed it to see what, how long it lasts, but I think it, it lasts for a decent, decent amount of time. I know. <laughs> My previous headset. So the one before... The one before this one was wireless, but of course I was like, oh, I should probably get wired, you know, I, I don't think I'd get wired again. Just, I'm just not a, I don't like to be tied down. You guys, I just I like to be free, I like to be free and wild. All right. 
Let's talk to Doris. <laughs> oh no! Right, me too. You're going through the commercials. Hold on. Let's let's have a replay for anybody for anybody that didn't get to uh, witness this firsthand. Hold on. It's gonna scare the shit out of me again, isn't it? I'm so loud. Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta turn down the headset a little bit. We're turning this down. So. Ah! Jesus Christ! Holy fuck! I haven't turned up so loud because the game's so quiet. Holy fuck! So I'm not like... you. So. Ah! Okay! This is not a good fear response, you guys! Why did I do that? I'm like, ah! Why? Why is that? Why is that how I reacted to a space cougar? I'm so confused. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, the, it was it was a space there was a space cougar <sighs> oh man yeah what shenanigans are going up in here Ninwa! Ninwa, we're, we're we're on the moon and we're establishing a forward colony this all connects together though you know we were we were prospecting on Icarus we still are prospecting on Icarus let's be honest and um you know what? I have not played Icarus with this headset yet. Oh god. Oh god, it's gonna be terrifying. I'm gonna hear like animals walking like 200 feet away or something. So anyway, we're starting a colony. We're just we're just learning the basics. We have this this AI that has a good sense of humor, Doris. She's walking us through the basics. Oh, I gotta turn this back up again. I wonder if there's a way to hold on. Okay. <gasps> Firing stations! Yes! Ooh, you just bought Monster Hunter Rise today and you're knee deep in that? Ooh, Nenwa. I've lost many a person to it. It's a very good game. Ah. Oh! There's nothing on the There's nothing on the back of the seed packet here that says don't smoke them. Hmm. Apparently we're not allowed to smoke them. Uh, I'll explain it later, right? Right? I hope you've eaten as much meat as you could before coming here, because the only stuff you will be eating here are vegetables. I don't know. Are you vegetarian or not? No bacon. What am I smoking? I'm gonna have you smoke some gherkins. Valscore gets to smoke some gherkins. <laughs> Smokes things and reviews. If I had a smoker, I would do that. I literally would do that. Beyond Anne. I would smoke some bacon. I would smoke some steak. I'd smoke some salmon. I'd smoke some some zucchinis. I'd smoke some tomatoes. But yeah, apparently, no. The temperature of the moon is too cold for common cells. Just like okay. the machine, this one also needs to be placed inside a structure to work. Figured as much. Thank you, Doris. They are very simple to use. Okay. All you need to do is to select the plant that you want to farm. Okay. Then add sufficient water. Okay. All right. Okay. So we need to water them. What do we got? What do we got? We've got beets, berries, and cabbage. Okay. All right. Uh, let's 
let's get our beet seeds, let's get our berry seeds, and our cabbage seeds. Okay. Keep pushing escape to get out of it, and I think I need to press F. I think that's what we need to do. So here's our here's our plant pots. Uh, let's put our plant pots next to Doris. Let's make sure Doris feels like like she's got friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We got three now. Beets take 61 seconds, cabbage takes 66, and berries take 76. So let's, let's plant the berries first. Okay. And then F. Then we'll plant cabbage. Oh, I don't have any more water. So I need to go get more water and then we're gonna plant, we're gonna plant the beet in the other one. Okay. So it's like the forest where you hit the same key a second time to close the menu. Yeah, exactly. So you press F to open it, you press F to close it. All right, let's go, let's go get some more water. Okay. Make sure the space cougar, cougars can't get in. <laughs> Alright, we got some water here. So we got some oxygen. Let's uh Man, the plants take a lot of water and we take a lot of water. Look at look at that. We're already like half of our water is gone. So can I Oh that's dirty water. Oh crap, I don't want to drink dirty water. No 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 no. Oh my gosh, I left my lights on. Why is the Tesla's lights on, you guys? Oh, it doesn't- it can't honk. The space Tesla can't honk! Oops. Kind of ran into the, the HUD there a little bit. Hey! Mechanic Man! It is, uh, space farming! This is our space farm truck. Uh, some billionaire shot it into outer space. And I don't- I don't exist. I'm invisible, apparently. But, uh... We're just taking this this car for a joyride. <laughs> Whee! All right. Just trying to figure out why the uh, the lights were on, you know. Space cabbage. Yeah, I know. I hope the air filtration works too. Space cabbage probably is not the best to have in a small space, but it's just me. It's just me. I don't feel like cabbage, beets, and berries is a very well-rounded nutritional, you know, like you need some legumes. You need some, you need some peas or beans, something like that. So, ooh, oh, look at it, it's so cute. Oh my God, you guys, it's a cabbage. It's a space cabbage. Ah, it's a space cabbage. Okay, anyway, we, we need to um, filter some more water. I, I am inordinately excited about my space cabbage. <laughs> That's what she said. Definitely Valscor. <gasps> Look at our berries! Oh my fucking god! Look at those cute little berries! <laughs> They're very cute. Uh, I like these spacey building games. I hope they offer dedicated services when it releases. I know. Oh, mechanic man, we need we need that GPU to come through as quickly as possible because I miss you on the server. I was just telling Dag that um, we don't really have a hunter, a hunter or butcher, and we're at that level of food where meat, lots of meat. Okay, so let's see. Is this cabbage done? Do I need to water it more? I don't know. I don't know if this is like... How often do we water? How much do we water? Uh, okay, let's... Let's grab some more. Let's... Let's just add a little bit more. 
Okay, it's counting down. So I think maybe we have enough. So, see, I think it's going to be ripe when that hits zero. Yeah. <gasps> we picked our first space cabbage. Booyah. Okay. We probably need to... Water levels are critical. Is that... Is that water levels for... Okay. So we've got the beet. All right, so there's more water. Turn that off. So, oh, no, no, no. There's still water in there. It's still processing through. Okay, so you don't want your plants to get dehydrated is what I'm getting from this. Oh! Okay, I think we just wasted some. Oh! Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, shit, I am. You're right. I am thirsty. Uh, You're right. The drinking sounds. Okay, so we harvested our berries. We're just waiting. You need an, uh, another elite <laughs> key to create Commander's Space Cabbage. <gasps> Black Box King! Hello! How have you been? So thirsty. So thirsty. Hmm. So what do we... So we've got carrots, we've got berries, we've got cabbage now. Got berry seeds, cabbage seeds. So let's replant the berry bush. Okay, it's got water. Let's replant our cabbage. It's gonna need more water. And let's pick our beet. Can we pick the beet? Yes, we can harvest the beet. Alright, so... We don't have any more beet seeds, though. How do we not have any more beet seeds? That's not good. Oh, there we go. Maybe maybe you have to, like, walk away from it, you know? Yeah, walk away. Okay. All right, so we, we've we've harvested our first go-round. Did she want us to do three? I seem tired. Doris, how can you see me? Okay. You can use the bed to save the game. The save slot name and the save of the bed. Okay. Okay. Um, Doris wants us to sleep, huh? Oh gosh, that's... Guys. Should I sleep next to my plants? No. I'll sleep over here. That cabbage smells pretty bad, you know? Uh, stream one. Whoa. Okay. All right. Uh. <laughs> oh no, you saw the space cougars, huh? Uh, definitely not getting jumped by space cougars. Doris wants this. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, BA. Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Okay, so. Okay, we're out of batteries. We're out of batteries. Can I just like click and drip? No, it has to. Okay. So. Alrighty. Now. Okay, I'm well rested. Yes. Yes, I do, Doris. Okay, we're gonna go out on the moon. <gasps> we're gonna go steal from the Chinese? Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay. ILLL Market! Alright. Ooh. I mean, I want to make sure my baby plants don't die. I do want to make sure that they're 
they're okay while I'm gone, you know? But it seems like it seems like if they don't have enough water, they don't they don't just die. Hopefully. Yeah, let's see. How's the cabbage doing? The cabbage is doing okay. Uh, berries are doing okay. But they need more water. Berries need a lot of water. How are we doing on water, though? We don't have any water. So we need to get a little bit more water before we're gonna go out. I don't know! I don't know if we have a space bathroom! That's a good point! I don't think we have a space bathroom, Sidewinder 40. This is terrible working conditions. Terrible working conditions. <laughs> uh, don't ask. It's like a, it's like a still suit. It's like a Fremen still suit. The the uh, suit processes everything. Yeah, fertilizes the plants. Mm, yeah, yes. Yes, yes, we will. <sighs> Fertilizing the plants, Robert, huh? We going full full Mark Watney on this? <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get a little bit of water to take with us. Poop potatoes! Ah... <sighs> So if you didn't know the science of this, if you're by yourself, so so humans evolved a, a natural dislike for excrement because a lot of pathogens are carried in, in shit, right? But if it's your own shit, you're not going to end up with pathogens because you're, you're, you already have them in your body. So uh, you actually, if it's your own, own waste product... What did they call it? Night soil. Night soil is what it's been referred to. You can use it as compost. Just don't invite your friends over. <laughs> don't don't share any of the produce you made with anybody else. Only you can eat that produce. <laughs> yeah, mechanic man. I mean, it, we're we're pulling a Mark Watney here. We we have to. We have to make sure our potatoes are well, well, uh, fertilized. Okay, guys, what are we taking? Are we taking the rover or are we taking the space truck? We taking the Tesla, we taking the rover. What are we doing? One, one in chat for the rover, two for the Tesla. One in chat for the rover, two for the Tesla. What are we taking? What, uh, which vehicle? Senor Cuevo says the Tesla. Mechanic Man says the Tesla. <laughs> you gotta roll up on the Chinese in style. Sidewinder 40 says the Tesla. This is seeming unanimously the Tesla. Gotta take our Doge, Dogecoin Tesla. Alright. Alright, let's go say hi to the Chinese. Oops, gotta get closer. Here we go. Dun dun dun! a pretty shitty topic to talk about. I know. It was quite literally shitty. It's <laughs> pretty good music in this as well. Alright. <laughs> uh oh. Are we going to go off the cliff here? There's lots of little bits of metal and I'm wondering if these are going to be harvestable at some point. Whoa, what the hell is that? Did you guys see that? There was something off on the horizon. Uh, oh no. Uh, what is that? What is that? That's not where they want us to go, but, but what is that? Are there aliens on the moon? It's a starport? You think it's a starport? Maybe it's like the the space silo, you know, where you send up your space space veggies.
Let's go see. That'll be the Russian base. <laughs> hey, we can get vodka. That'll be fantastic. The space grocery store. Yeah, yeah, the space feed store where we can sell our stolen hay bales. All right. I'm very curious. I'm very curious. Grow potatoes, make vodka. Yep, yep. You know what? That would be a really cool idea for a brand to, um, to, to do the Martian, the Martian vodka. Some company needs to do that. I think that would be hilarious. That'd be absolutely hilarious. Yes. You need to get rail, you rail guns to get all your produce back to shoot, shoot the produce into the air. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Why why am I stuck in the rinky dink little broken down shack over there if there's like stuff like this? I mean, I know we're supposed to be going and saying hi to the Chinese, but I got distracted. I got distracted by this big shiny thing over here. Okay. Oh! <gasps> no! It's locked! It's locked! No! Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Dang it. Hello! Father Bill and Eartha! Welcome in! Welcome! We are, we're space farmers. I may or may not have been trying to break into a facility. Nothing was happening. Nothing was happening at all. Nothing illegal. Nope. I know. I wish we could. I mean, can we see in the windows? Uh, no, apparently not. All right. So let's go say hi to the Chinese. Percussive locking. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 we're okay. We're okay. We didn't die. We didn't die. Old Doris the Stalker will probably send you over there later. Probably. Probably Mechanic Man. Yeah, so we named we named the uh, the AI that's helping us out Doris. <sighs> oh, Doris. <laughs> uh... I mean, we're, we're driving in style. I love it. <laughs> it is. It is Earth, though. It is. You are not imagining things. You're not imagining things. That is definitely a doge. That is a doge. This uh, this was sent up into space by, by a billionaire. Yeah. Are those Thargoids? It kind of looks like there's Thargoids out there. Oh, oh, I oh, guess we can't drive up that. <laughs> My space Tesla can't drive over the uh, the nearly vertical hill. It makes sense, though. All right, so we're looking for equipment, extra seeds, you know, good stuff like that. Okay, this, this looks like, oh, oh no! truck there we go oh my again why did i get such a rinky dink little base this is nice this is a storage base yes it does look really pretty doris why why doesn't my place look pretty That worries me. That worries me. Don't know where all the people went. Don't know where all the people went. And the AI is joking that they went home to, to celebrate Chinese New Year. Now, head inside and look for supplies. There are way too many to remember, so I'm 
have some on your display. Come back to the base and talk to me when you've gathered them all. Good luck. All right. So one of their rovers are, is near the base? Let's see. I know, it's super sus. It's super sus. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh my god, we can drive it! Oh, it's so cute! Oh my god, it does not stop quickly, though. Oh, that's fantastic! There's an imposter among us, yeah. Oh, that's so freaking cool, you guys! The Jade Robot. Huh! Alright, that's neat. I know, I'm stealing the car without breaking into the house. Well, now we'll break into the house. Whoa, what's this? What is this? Gather print printer parts, resources, seeds, and tools. All right, let's get the seeds first. We got carrots. Got apples, tomatoes, bell peppers, eggplants, hot peppers, and pear seeds. I don't know. I, I believe that. So with apples, you have to get them grafted off of wood, I think. I think pears are the same way. I don't think you want to plant pears from a pear seed. Yeah, that looks like a reactor of some sort. Hmm. Haha, <laughs> danger high voltage. I walk right up to it. Can I mess with it? All right. So we got our seeds. Now we need to get printer parts. So we'll have a 3D printer maybe? Wouldn't that be cool? It's not botanically accurate! I know, right? Mechanic man, delete it! Delete it! Get rid of it! Oh, look at this. They covered everything up nicely. Okay. So we've got... Oh, gosh. Are we even going to have room for everything? Like... Um... Let's eat some berries to make room. I wonder if we can store things in our truck. I hope. I hope we can store things. Do we take fall damage? No. Uh. No, I can't store things. Dang it. Hmm. Well, chips. I know, right? I know the Chinese donut. Whoa. Now that's pretty cool looking too. The Chinese don't lock their door versus the Russians. The Russians lock their doors. So we've got iron, e-chips. What else do we got here? We might have to come back. Oh, wow. There were a lot of people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There were 12 people in this base and they're all gone. They're all gone. Look at how... Look, the bed doesn't even look slept in. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of sus, you guys. I think something went... Yeah, the, the space cougar got him. Ooh, a pickaxe? And a hammer? Oh, wait, can I put things on my bar? Oh, you can't add items to your quick slot unless they're in your thing. So we're going to have to make trips out here. <laughs> oh, Eartho. The Chinese were turned into fertilizer. Mm, that's dark. That's dark. And I like it. It's very dark. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's take this stuff back to our base. We'll come back for the tools. Woohoo! Did you see that? You see that power slide? That was fantastic. All right, where's our... Where's our base? Is there a map? Let's see if we can turn up the sound a little bit.
There we go. Now you guys should be able to hear her better. Mm, maybe a little too loud now. There we go. There we go. All right. There's music. Yeah, there's music. There we go. Oh. I think it's too loud. I think it's too loud. Let's uh let's turn the effects down a little bit. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more. Mm. There we go. Okay. Uh Is there no Uh I think our house was this way, right? This is generally the direction we came from. I think that's our, our base over there, that little white dot on the horizon. Oh. oh, apparently we can drive through rocks. It's pretty fancy. This is a magical doge truck. Magical. Three hours later, so we haven't found our base yet. <laughs> yeah. Let's circumnavigate the moon. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, we gotta grow things. Reha! What? Beyond Aeon? What are we doing? Much magic, much wow. <laughs> Zero Koi, oh no. Oh no. So much magic. So much wow. So much. Well, I wonder why. There's no storage in this truck. You think you think a truck would have storage? I guess not. I do like that the Russians locked their base and the, the Chinese did not. Hmm. Could be the Indian Space Force. That big old spaceport could have been the Indian the Indian uh, Space Agency. Maybe the daylight maybe. Well, No. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna push it over. Yeah. A quad bike? Maybe. Hmm. I mean, there's not a lot to see on the moon for sure, but you know, it's a good day for a drive. It's a good day for a drive. How's our... Oh, our oxygen's getting a little bit low. I'm doing okay, though. I mean... We're not dead yet. We've only... We've only, uh... Gotten close to dehydration twice. It's kind of relaxing. I think the music's too relaxing. We need... We need, uh... We need tenser music. Like, ah! Oh, you're out... You're driving around, and this is the point at which that the, uh... You're most likely to have an accident and die because you're out on the surface of a hostile planet with no atmosphere. Oh god, where is our house? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh my, I thought we were lost. That was not good. But we found it. Uh, no for QA, guys. Give a waypoint for home even without gathering all the mission objectives, right? No! No, not that, VA. Not that. I don't think we'll be able to handle that. Yes. That is a QA, QA thing. Let's see if we've got some water here. Oh, we don't have enough room for anything until we get inside and offload. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to close the door to change over the airlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's store our stuff. Let's put our carrots and our beets and our carrot seeds and our... Where's our beet seeds? I thought we had beet seeds. <gasps> Do we not have any beet seeds? Oh yeah, we have beet seeds. Why? Hmm. I'm confused. Apple seeds? Oh, we got apple seeds too, which again... <sighs> You just don't want to do that. 
<gasps> Bruce Cooper! You guys, Bruce? Bruce was playing bingo over the weekend. Like a total baller. <laughs> what the Elon Musk? I mean, did you see my truck, Bruce? Did you see my truck? It's fantastic. Also, Bruce, you scared the freaking daylights out of me with that Twitter post. So, so, so Bruce Cooper was telling a story about his dog at the vet. And he, he wrote the phrase, the vet put her down. And I was like, oh, no! Oh, man! And he meant, like, set, you know, like, set the animal down. Like, you know, like... Don't use that phrase. <laughs> you know, Cybertruck so bad? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, let's put the printer parts in here. We, we're gonna do some 3D printing in space. It's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. I was, no, not the pup. But yes, that was a funny story, though. It was a funny story. All right, so uh, let's just save the game. Let's save the game. Let's go get some water. Oh, right. We have to change the airlock out. But yeah, we got our we got our fancy Doge coin. Cybertruck, very fancy. Very fancy. Love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, let's grab our dirty water. Take it inside. Oh, right. Airlock. We got this. <laughs> we stole Elon Musk's car! We stole Elon Musk's car! It's fantastic. Never go! Welcome back in. Thank you, Never Go. Oh, we need some batteries to be able to run this. Whoops. Whoopsies! <laughs> you don't click on these? Oh, thank you. I appreciate the support, though. Never go. Um, I'd like out of here. Thank you. Uh, uh. Did you hear about the weird building thing they found on the moon? No. Tell me all about it. Tell me about. Did you know there's water on the moon? Actual truth. And we are drilling it out of the ground. Boom. I mean, the support is there whether I click the button or not. True, never go. True. Thank you for the financial support, though. There's different types of support, and I appreciate the financial support as well as the moral support, the uh, sometimes emotional support, as well as the, um, uh, what, what other, what other kinds of support, guys? What other kinds of support can we have? Oh, really now? Did it, huh? <laughs> the pathetic begging for marbles. <laughs> oh, no. How's our oxygen? We only have two oxygen tanks. Or is that 11 oxygen? Oh, we're good. So... I'm gonna let this water process when we go back and steal more stuff from the Chinese base. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! They found out what it was. It was just a rock. Oh, it was just like a really nicely squared off rock. Darn it. Darn it! That would have been so cool though. You never know. You never know. We haven't, we haven't explored there for very long. All right, let's take our let's take our truck back over. Although you know, since the Chinese aren't even there, we don't need to impress them with our status. Let's let's take the rover. Let's take the rover. You know. Let's uh, let's go back over this way. Yes, so yes, supportive underwear is really important in space, especially if you're wearing a still suit. <sighs> Oh, it's a geologist. <laughs> Beyond Aeon. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. Yes. The, uh, the rocks want to be square. Depends on what type of rock and how it's formed, but yes. 
It is a shape that they prefer, right? It is a shape they prefer. Oh, man. Speaking of rock, oh my goodness, you guys. Yesterday. So yesterday I had two different meetings. And it was, it's at a location that's an hour and a half drive from where I live. So I got there, you know, I left here an hour and a half before I needed to be at the first meeting. Got there just in time for the first meeting. Guy's a no-show. Nothing. Not a peep out of him. And I'm like, dang it, I just got stood up. I was like, what the heck, I'm here an hour early. I didn't even get breakfast. You know, I was like, gotta get to the job site. So I'm sitting there waiting for the second meeting to show up. And I get a call from the first guy and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry I got, you know, I got distracted. I totally forgot about our meeting. Uh, you know, when's the next time you can be out there? And I'm like, I have to drive an hour and a half just to get here. And I, you know, you stood me up once. I'm not sure if I, if I want to come out here just to meet with you again. He's like, oh, well, I'm really close by. Like, I could come out right now. And I'm like, well, I have another meeting. But um, if you would, if you'd like, you can uh, come out after I'm done with the meeting in another hour. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And I was like, okay. So the, the second meeting went really well. Oh, I have to put this in my inventory before I can put it on the hot bar. What do we use the torch for, you guys? What do we use the torch for? Let's go outside and see if we can use these tools. So the second guy comes, shows up. So what was supposed to be like a four hour day ended up being a seven hour day. <laughs> no food, right? And then I was gonna stop it in and out on my way back. And I, I saw the line because it was around it was around dinner time. I was like, nope, nope. Okay. Can I flame? <gasps> Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's see if we can. We can gather resources! We can make creme brulee. Exactly. Oh, heck yeah! So, I mean, we can just pick up glass on the ground, but this is fantastic. I do. I actually, I have all my camping gear in the, um, in the trunk. So I did, I did have like a granola bar, but you know. I, was, I wasn't totally out of luck. I still also had beer, but I was like, nah, I don't think, don't think I should be drinking beer on a job site. If it, if it came down to it though, you know, got the calories at least. <laughs> ah, now we can go home. Well, thank you, Chinese. We stole everything that we could. Nice to check out your rover and everything. We're gonna go home, go check on our, go check on our crops. Oh man, but it was really funny. So this particular client is really like paranoid. They're like, oh, I guess we'll give you the gate code. You know, we don't really want to give it out to many people because we're really security conscious. So I showed up at the job site and there was kind of this like, I wouldn't say like a sketchy car, but definitely not the kind of car I would expect at their house. Like it had tinted windows on the back and kind of, you know, kind of an older Honda. And I was like, is this someone who's here or not here? And I'm kind of like looking around and I don't see anyone, right? And there's a gate, but there's no button on the inside of the gate to open the gate. So the only way to open the gate for the contractors who were coming to visit was to drive my car up. So I'm like trying to drive the car and figure out where it is. The lady who's cleaning the house, who ends up being the person who has the car, is probably watching me like, who is this and what are they doing? And she's probably freaked out because she's at this property all by herself. And there's some weird person driving their car back and forth on the driveway, opening and closing the gate. Oh man. For like an hour because I was there for an hour waiting for the first person that stood me up. Okay, our water is low. 
And then while I was there with the, the guy that ended up, you know, ended up coming back, even though he'd stood me up for the first meeting. Um, I don't, we really don't want to blow torch the door. So while we're standing there and we're talking about like, he's the concrete, he was the concrete guy. And we're talking about what we need to do for the concrete. And this random young guy, just random young man, walks up with his giant ass uh, German Shepherd. And I'm like, hi. And he's like, oh, hey. And he has this like big old pruners under his arm, dog. He's like, he's friendly. I'm gonna let him off the leash. I was like, oh, okay. You know, playing with the dog. And I'm like, oh, who are you? And he's like, oh, well, I'm here to, to prune the the vineyards. And I was like, oh, well, I'm the landscape architect. He's like, oh, nice to meet you. It's like, how many people have this dang gate code? These people are super paranoid about not giving away their gate code. And so far I've met like two people that I did not expect to run into in the middle of nowhere on this property. Uh, the guy, it was really funny. He goes, oh no, this is my side gig. You know, something, something. I'm like, yeah, I can kind of tell. Like, you don't seem like a vineyard vineyard worker. He had like his little leaf. His little like, uh, this is it, the Nissan leaf. You know, those little tiny electric cars. <laughs> I don't know how the dog even fit into it. It was a cool dog though. It's a cool dog. All right, so we got all of our stuff. Let's see what she wants us to do now. Bring me the three printer parts, then we'll continue. Okay. Printer parts. Moon farming, right, Hobbit Borg? What a cool idea. Yeah, look at this. This is my this is my space cabbage. This is my space beet. And this, these are my space berries. Check out my space berries. I know, Doris is getting kind of demanding. <gasps> how long is the demo? I don't know how long the demo itself is. We're playing, we're playing the prologue. So I would just try it out. I would try it out, try out the demo, see what you think. See what you think about it. How are you doing, Bud Storage? Seems like you have collected everything. I have. Now. You need to place the 3D printer and two of its parts. 3D printer prints out semantics for build parts that can then be used to place those build parts in the world. Okay. Every build part requires a certain amount of resources to print. Nevergoat says that my space berries look kind of sus. Say my space berries look sus. Them biting words. Don't worry about the resources. I'll explain more later. For now, okay. you need to place the 3D printer. A 3D printer has three parts. A printer, a printer base, and molder. You can start by placing the printer inside the base. After placing the printer, you'll see a holographic outline for the other two build parts. These holographic projections will help you with the placement of the other two parts. <laughs> right? I mean, this is like the perfect game. This is the perfect game. It's just like just hover the I saw it and I was like, "Oh, yes, please." Should snap themselves to their places on the holographic projection. If done correctly, the projection will change its color from blue to green. Then you can place the build parts and they will be placed in the correct spot. I would recommend that you place the base after placing the molder as it's the bigger part and pretty easy to place. If you have questions, come talk to me again. <laughs> she doesn't me blame me. If you need a reminder, good luck. She, she doesn't blame me if I forget. Hmm. Okay, this seems a little bit tricky. So... Printing machine, printing base, and the printing molder. So let's use the printing base, the printing machine, and the printing molder. So... Nope. Okay. Let's put it next to our bed. 
Right? Yeah. Sassy. Extra sassy. Alright. And then... Okay. Ta-da! We have a 3D printer now. Now Doris is a bit condescending? Yeah. I think Doris is a bit condescending. I'm guessing we put our glass, our iron, and our silicon in there. Maybe we have to refine the iron ore down though. We shall find out. Good. Now you need to place a furnace. Oh, there, we gotta get a furnace. <gasps> true, true, it is the stolen Chinese printer. Yeah, we did steal from the Chinese. Uh, Doris said they were all back on Earth celebrating Chinese New Year, so it's it's okay, furnace right? This allows you to smelt raw materials into usable resources. These resources can then be used to print out build parts from the printer machine. Furnace requires a battery to power on. Of course it does. I've added the furnace semantics to your inventory. Come back and talk to me when you've placed it. How dare you, Simplex? Hello. So wait, what? Electrical furnace. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, let's grab, let's grab the iron ore. Probably the silicon, maybe in the glass crystals, I'm guessing, because those are the materials we got outside. Can we put them in here? Yeah, we can. We can put them in there. Okay, let's go get some more batteries. I wonder if that's the 3D printer Naomi Wu reviewed? I don't know. <laughs> Right? Never go? Yeah, they'll probably, they'll, they'll probably, uh, come steal it while I'm back on Earth celebrating, um, 4th of July or something. Oh no. Uh, let's get some more battery cells. It is kind of slow. I wonder if we're going to be able to make more solar arrays and more water pumps. We shall see. All right, let's turn on the furnace. Whoop, whoop. <gasps> what do we get to make? What do we get to make? Glass maybe? Okay, so it looks like the silicon is, is cooking. Yeah, the iron and silicon are, are cooking. The glass crystals don't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we've got... Let's put the iron in here. Let's put the glass crystals in there. Ooh, all right. Foundation walls, airlock system, a container. <gasps> More farming pots? Heck yeah. Water extractor, solar panel, bed. Plant incubators? <gasps> we can incubate our plants. Allows to have two farming stations attached to it, used with storage section and farming control station to automatically farm. Ooh, 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 we can make automatic farms. This is fantastic. Farming control panels, storage station. Okay, sweet. So th these three go together to make like automatic. Ooh, I like it. Okay, all right. Let's see what Doris wants us to do now that we've got the the furnace going. Good. Now you'll need some resources that you can smelt in the furnace. The furnace. I'm pretty sure you've seen some rocks and other materials on the surface of the moon. I have. I By have. the way, what did they promise before you came to the moon? I mean, did they say that you will relax and all 3D printers and robots will do hard work for you? Ha ha, don't worry, they did that with everybody before you. 
So, even with all nowadays technologies, still you need to do a lot of manual work. I feel like she's making some sort of reference to, like, robots being slaves. I did just finish reading, um, Humanity's Promise, which is the second book in a series. The 2045 series. It's really quite good, you guys. It was really good. Really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. There's some really funny modern references in there. Like... Very nerdy, the funny. The ones are iron ones. ores, and you need the pickaxe to mine. The medium shiny ones are silicon ores, and you need a blowtorch to mine them. The small orange ones are glass shards, and you can just collect them directly. After you've collected some of them and smelt them into usable resources, you can use the printer machine to print build parts. These build parts range from your basic walls, floors, foundations to other machines. As you can probably tell by now, you can build some new bases. The most important part of your base is the foundation build. Everything else such as walls and door frames are placed on the foundation. There is also an airlock build part. Airlock needs to be attached to a door frame. <laughs> right? When the command robot starts telling you that she's the vanguard of your destruction. Run! Childhood's End is out on Netflix? What's childhood's end, Simplex? Some build parts require an airlock to work. Now you can go, gather some resources, build new bases, and farm. I think I As think we're being see, released. This old base is too small for us now. You it need is. to make a new base. When you're ready, come and talk to me. I'll teach you how to use farming incubators, farming control panel, and storage section. One more thing before you go. You can use the hammer to destroy the structures you've built. Okay. And make sure you build bases that are big enough to support your needs. You don't want to build bases that are too Good small luck. and waste time. Okay. fear with this prologue is I'm gonna run out of things to do I can do farming sims forever I don't I don't know I mean they kind of have little things to go Arthur C Clark book oh hmm I'm guessing I don't know I mean I'm guessing it's open-ended for right now so Let's get some materials. Aliens come and just sit there for a long time? Hmm. Yeah, with Trinity's Children, the premise of the first book of the, the 2040... Uh, 2045? 2048? Oops, no, I want to... Oh, this is dirty water. That's why I can't use it. Is that there's a guy who has an unnaturally long lifespan and he gets a message from an alien species saying that in a hundred years from when humans split the atom they have to prove faster than light travel and so he sets about making that possible and it's quite it's quite an interesting <laughs> It's quite a lovely little read. Smackorp, hello, hello, hello. Welcome in. We're just gathering some silicon on the planet's surface. Let's go find some rocks. Got some rocks over here. We'll go get some iron. Pick up some glass while we're at it. That's us dead, I know, right, Simplex? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if we have to have faster than uh, light travel in that amount of time, it's very difficult. Very, very difficult. But it's a really funny, really funny, um... There's a lot of good humor in there, and then it is narrated by one of my 
one of my top, like, I would say, like, top three favorite narrators, Nick Podell. He, the first time I heard him, he narrated The Land, which is a literary RPG series, and it's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. The uh, author is a nurse. I think he's a nurse, real life. But he just, it made me get back into WoW. Listening to that series made me get back into WoW. I was just like, I miss, I miss, like, fantasy RPGs, you know? It's, it's a great series. And Nick Podell is, is really good at accents. Like, he's fantastic at different, different accents and different voices. Alright. So how big of a base do we think we want to build? Like big? Like really big? Like the biggest base ever with the most plants? Um, so never go, the reason I think that they would call it that, like it's not just a regular fantasy book. It's the premise is that the, the main character is, the main character is us, is like a human who goes into a world that is generated, that is a fantasy world. So it's that, it's that like fourth wall being broken kind of idea. I think that's what gives it that piece. And with, specifically with the land, there's a lot of that almost like D&D-esque sort of stats and things like that, like stats and talent trees and and kind of like the gamey side of it i mean i see what you mean but like yeah it i think if it had just been like a straight up fantasy book i would have been confused because i'd be like what huh Ooh -wee! yeah we want it to be freaking huge we want it to be freaking huge i think it's it's got to be freaking huge Let's get more water. Let's get our dirty water so we can start processing that. Let's see if we have... I do think we probably need... Before we go, like, totally apeshit <laughs> on expanding the base, we probably need to expand our... And make a couple more solar panels because we're going to be using power. However, I have I have listened to lit, lit RPG books that don't really have the gaming side of it, so I understand what you're saying. Never go, Joe. Welcome on in. Let's get the water process. Oh shoot, we got a lot of water. Never mind. Never mind. We're good on water. We're good. Why did, Why aren't these stacking up to ten? Let's put, let's put the rest of the dirty water into the oxygenator. And let's grab the furnace. And we've got our iron ore in here. Oh good, it does take it automatically. That's good. Oh, it makes e-chips, apparently. That's what it makes it into. E-chips. E-chips. So we'll put that into here. So what do we need for another solar panel? We need 10 iron bars, three electrical chips, and one glass plane. So I'm guessing the, sil the glass crystals must must actually get broken down. Maybe they were just taking a while? Huh. It's melting silicon into a 3090? Yes! Yes! We're gonna be making our own 3090s. We're gonna be rich, Sidewinder 40. We're gonna be so rich. We're making our own. <laughs> yeah, we're moon farming. Oh, oh, water's low. Fuck! Yep. Okay, that's, that's... All right, so while we're waiting for that stuff to process through, let's, uh... Let's 
Let's check on our berries. Okay, we can harvest the berries. We can plant some more. Okay. Check on our cabbage. Harvest the cabbage. Let's see. Got the cabbage on us. Let's water some more. All right, let's grab the beet. Oh, beet needed a little bit of uh, water. So all of this apparently is gonna be able to be automated, but we have to expand our base to be able to automate. We also have more seeds over here. So let's put our cabbage, put our berries, put our beets. Why don't we have more beet seeds? Oh, there's the beet seeds. Okay, there's the beet seeds, there's the berry seeds cabbage seeds so how many does it say hmm. all right next go around let's plant some tomatoes hot chili peppers and maybe a apple okay how am i doing i'm doing good doing good it's been a heck of a week so far but doing good so far all right, 121 seconds. Let's get a bunch of water in there. All right, sweet. How are you doing? How are you doing? So what do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think of moon farming so far? It's, it's quite relaxing with the furnace, kind of. It's like being next to a nice fireplace. This is relaxing. Lax and sound here. Can we can we get the glass naturally occurring? Hmm. I wonder if it'll process through. I don't like the Elon Musk meme stuff. It's just tacky. Never go. Oh, never go. You don't you don't like the humor? Oh. Okay. Hmm. All right. Maybe it's immersion breaking as well. The robot seems fun. <laughs> I don't think we have any melons yet. I don't think we have any melons. This is eating through. This is eating through batteries really quickly. How's our oxygen doing? Okay, we got we got a decent amount of oxygen. So I'm actually going to turn this off and use these batteries for the smelting. Okay. Water a little bit more. How are we doing on our water? We don't really have a whole heck of a lot of water. Let's go get some more dirty water. Dirty water! You made a 17 minute CG deadline from Z to Alcor. Nice! Congrats, Simplex! CG is over! It's over! How, how did it do? Did it get all the way up to the max? Did it get to the max level? I feel like with these sorts of CGs, they really do. They go pretty quickly. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys! Look at our apple tree! This is so cool! We got space apples! Space apples! Alright, let's put our dirty water in there. We don't have any... Don't have any of the batteries for here. Okay. Does it need more water? Oh, <gasps> We get to harvest our apples? Wow, that was fast. That was fast. <laughs> All right. Uh, the cabbage needs more water. Why well, I kind of crazy? I know these these uh, moon fruit are also sus. I agree. Never go. Yeah, they're crazy sus. They're crazy sus. No idea. There's something in the moon. Maybe it's the moon soil. You know, things grow super fast. All right, let's put our hot chilies in. Give them some lovin'. Some cabbage. Cabbage isn't ready to harvest yet. 
Uh, where do you get the water from? Do they give you tanks or do you have to mine for it? So yeah, you have to mine for it. So the way that you get water in the game, so there is water on the moon. There has been water discovered on the moon. It was discovered last year. Um, IRL, this is IRL speak. So in the game, they give you, to start with, they give you a water extractor. So this extracts water from the surface of the planet, but it's dirty water. So you have to purify this water in the water purification system right here. So you put it in here, you have to use your battery to, you know, power it. You purify it and then you can use it to water things. All right, let's plant our tomatoes here. There we go. Ooh. <gasps> Look at it. Look at it grow. It's growing before our very eyes. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, that's not a chili pepper though. That 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 looks more like a berry. Oh. Oh. What? And oh, it is definitely a chili. That's a big old chili though. Um That's fantastic. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I wonder if it just had the leftover from All right, let's plant another apple. Oh my goodness, guys, you can see them. Look at them grow! <gasps> uh, gravity is about a sixth on the moon, so it would grow faster and taller, and apples wouldn't cause bending nearly as much. It would be interesting. Space apples or spapples, for short? Mmm, spapples. So, they've started doing experiments on zero G plant growth, and it's difficult because plants kind of need an up and a down. But with a lower gravity, it would be interesting. It all depends on the atmosphere because if you think about high altitude plants, they grow a lot slower because there's less oxygen and there's less, there's less, it's also colder. Look at that, how fast that grows. A spapple a day keeps the moon doctor away? Maybe. Maybe. Now I really want to grow plants on the moon. I can't wait. I can't wait for the Artemis base. It's going to be neat. I believe, yeah, plants use gravity for water. Look at that. That's, this is beautiful. These chilies are just fantastic. All right, so we've got we've got some chilies. Let's see how are our crops doing. So we have we have apples. We've got lots of cabbage seeds now. We've got berry seeds. We've got our hot peppers, which I'll put there. So we've only got one hot pepper so far. We've got eh, you know we're we're getting there. We got eight cabbages. Oh, apparently you can only stack five. Okay, let's eat some of our cabbage. No, that, that went up to 11. Why is this not stacking? Huh. Nope. Fresh and ready to eat. Oh, this one's bigger. Do you see that? This cabbage is actually bigger. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's grab some carrots. Wait, what? Maybe it's a different type of cabbage. So we haven't grown any pears. We've got carrots. We haven't grown eggplants or bell peppers yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I eat fast as well. Uh, plants use gravity for water. And then we got to water these plants here. So what do we got going on? Let's put our bell pepper in here. Let's put the bell pepper and then 
We got our tomato, needs a little bit more water. Tomato's actually taking a long time. Right, let's harvest our apples. Let's plant. Wait, did we already plant the eggplant? No, we didn't. Did we already plant the eggplant? Oh crap. Do we have two eggplants now? Was this an eggplant? No, this was a bell pepper. Okay, so we got bell pepper, tomato, and eggplant. So we're building up, we're building up a little bit of a, a little bit of a base. Okay. So got that going. There, we've got some oxygen. I think we're doing we're doing pretty good. So how's our how's our refining coming? So we've got a little bit of glass. Glass seems to be very slow. Very, very slow. Hmm. Okay, let's go get more because we need glass for the solar panels. And I'd like to get another another solar panel going. Plants breathes yeah. Yeah, so plants take in CO2 and then they output they output oxygen through photosynthesis. So they use the sugars in the leaves to process and turn it into No, wait. Is is sugar the the byproduct cuz they feed they feed the mycorrhizal um, organisms, sucrose, sugar, and then the the bacteria and things like that will bring them the minerals they need to grow. So, very cool. Um, I'm not seeing much more glass around here. We might need to go do a little bit of a drive and look for look for some glass. Hmm. Oh, what was? Oh no, that was just the sun. Don't stare straight at the sun. It's beautiful. My eyes. Okay, there's more glass over here. Sweet, 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 sweet. Well, I think this is lovely so far. I look forward to seeing what the automated planting system is like. Because obviously, you know, it's fun at the beginning to kind of manually water and things like that, but it'll be fun. <laughs> oh no. It'll be fun to just sit back, let things grow. Did I just... Oh, that's where we dropped. It's like, ooh, what's that over there? Something. Oh. Huh. I think that's a bug. I think that it picking up the silicon at the same time as the glass shard. And not counting the silicon. Yeah. Light plus CO2 makes sugar and O2. There we go. Thank you. It's all chemistry. It's all chemistry. Overly simplified. Yes, yeah, exactly. There's a lot more going on there. But that's that's the basics of how it works. How plants and photosynthesis works. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Alright, let's see if this is enough. Yeah, kind of like fat is for us. Ah, oh, yeah. Hmm. It is, it's a way to store energy and to trade, right? Trade that energy. Oh, let me grab batteries real quick. Because we're going to need those. Roop. Batteries. Oh, right. Gotta press the same button that I used to press originally. Is there? No. I was gonna say, is there more glass popping up as 
time goes by. I mean, it would make sense. There's things falling from the atmosphere. Oh, right. Button. Airlock. All right. Put more batteries in here and let's get a bunch of this glass going. Ah, so it must be a certain number of them are needed to be able to kind of process through. <laughs> oh no, I don't think so, never go. I haven't I haven't made space beer yet. I haven't made space beer yet. But it could be. It could be from the um the previous crew was drinking and throwing their beer bottles outside and that's where that came from. You never know. Could happen. So let's move this stuff over to the printer. Storage, iron. Oh, let's move those glass crystals back into there. Got that, 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 that. I think we're good. All right, can we do a solar panel? Can we do another solar panel? Insufficient items. We've got the glass pane. We've got the iron bars. What, what does it need? Three electrical chips. Oh, I need to put those into there. Okay, that's probably what it was. Yay! Wait, did it just go into the printing queue? No, it didn't. Uh. Oh, okay, I clicked it and that canceled it. That's why. So how do we... How do we turn it on? Uh Doris? You are ready for the next part? No. All right, let this No, no, I'm not ready for this. System an incubator. No, I'm not ready. Oh, it might. You can't. You're right. Now, come and talk. Good luck. Um, you're right. It might need. It might need the battery. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So can we split? Split sack. All right, let's put that there. You're correct. We need the battery. We need to turn it on. There we go. Now it's ticking down. Now it's ticking down. Now we've got our solar panel coming. Oh, I think this game is too relaxing. Mm, I think we're going to have to play a game of marbles. Ugh! Once we get our extra solar panel up. It's too- it's still relaxing. No, it's- it's great. It's great. Space farming. <laughs> Yeah, I figured that would wake everybody up. Everybody's like, what? Marbles? Marbles? Alright, let's take the solar panel outside. Whoop. Set up the solar panel. Dun 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 dun. And... Um, what is that? Five? Five. Oh, oh excuse me. Hiccups. Okay, cool. So now we've got double the power generation, which means we'll be able to smelt faster, do things like that faster. And then next time we get on here, we can build our base. Ah, cool. I like it. I, I, I think this has a lot of potential. It feels, I've never played Never played Satisfactory. I've played a bit of Astroneer. This is definitely a lot more realistic than Astroneer. But it feels, you know, I think it... Quite a cool concept. Quite a cool concept. Can't wait to get away from this rinky-dinky starter... Starter base. And figure out what that big old thing was over there. 
Figure out what the Russian the Russian thing is. Uh, yes. Oh no, we can't even. I I um I can only do one addicting game at a time, and Eco has my Eco has my life right now. So, <laughs> but thank you for the offer. Thank you very much. Oh, look at our bell peppers! Bell peppers and our tomatoes! Oh, we gotta water our eggplants a little bit more. Ah, oh, this is just fantastic. Maybe you need to bring Russian some borscht? Maybe, maybe. I think I had some beets on me. I think I did have some beets on me when we went over there. Maybe they just didn't like my borscht. Who knows? It could have happened. Oh, look at the eggplant growing! Ah, I do like that you can see it growing in real time and that it's it's semi-accurate to, to the way these look. Mm-hmm. I haven't played it yet, but that one's got you interested? Yeah. Satisfactory? You haven't played it yet? I haven't played it either, but uh, I've heard, I love Factorio and I've lost many a weekend to Factorio. And I hear it's similar, so I'm sure, I'm sure I'll just go whoosh, right off the deep end. Are you guys ready for the eggplants? Are you ready for the eggplants? Huh? Huh? Oh yeah, it seems like whatever we planted before is like melding later. That's probably a graphical thing. Oh! Do we need, does it need more water? Okay, it's almost it's almost ready. Think plants are almost ready. They're almost ready. Look, there we go. We have eggplants. We have achieved the epitome of farming. It's like a first person. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. It's like the first person version. Of Factorio. Now you can make moussaka. I know. Now we can make moussaka. We can make uh, borscht. We can make br bruschetta. We can make some bruschetta with the tomatoes. We could do stuffed peppers. Make berry jam. But yeah, I think I think each planter remembers what plant grew in it first. This is quite fantastic, though. Quite fantastic. All right, let's save save the game we've got we've got it going I think I think it's pretty fantastic yeah <laughs> I hate this I know right if only if only it was that easy in real life it is not it is definitely not okay main menu so my review the boss stamp of approval on moon farming i enjoyed it i think it is absolutely something that we're gonna need to play some more of and see where it goes so uh what it says is this is the prologue version of moon farming final version will have more features build parts plants bases and much much more if you like our game then support us by clicking the button below and wish listing on steam let's do that let's do it right now Add to your wish list. Please log up. Yeah, well, fine. I wish I wish Steam would integrate well with um here, where's the moon farming add to wish lists. Hmm. Okay, I think it's already in my wish list. Perfect. <laughs> I just, I think, I think because one speed running through elite would be an interesting, it would be an interesting challenge. However, what would you want to see? Would you want to see them do like, because people have done challenges like WK Jez did a challenge of getting a billion credits, like a speed run for a billion credits kind of thing. 
So you could do credits pretty easily. If you wanted to get triple elite in a speed run, it's just very difficult to do that. Visit every planet. Raise every eggplant. <laughs> Visit every eggplant. Uh, we've had lots of people who race to Beagle Point. And there's, there's factions of the Elite Dangerous community that sees that as um, not exploration. Like, you, you will get some people that get really mad if you call that exploration because it is not. It's a, it's a race. So that's a speed thing that people do. And there's records in the game of, like, who could get to Beagle Point the fastest. Um... I don't know. It just doesn't quite lend itself to the speedrunning thing. Like, Icarus is perfect for speedrunning, you know? I mean, I'd start with combat like I did with my current commander and then just get the boring stuff like trading done while playing the game. The exploration grind can be done fast with the Roads to Riches site. Yeah, 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 totally. You can do that. I mean, my exploration count didn't really take me that long at all to level it up to a fleet carrier it took what 16 days six 16 something like that and that wasn't that wasn't speed running it was just playing the game smart playing the game smart and doing a lot of massacre mission sharing all right whoops that is not what we wanted that's what we wanted okay now i have to change over Uh, okay. Uh, could be a sidewinder involved, whatever the challenge is. Yeah. WHS hey took a sidewinder all the way to Colonia before the Colonia Bridge project and fleet carriers existed. So you could do things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could. There's no saying you can't. It just. There aren't a lot of people doing it because it is, one, it's, mm, I mean, I guess people would watch it. I mean, you're saying that you would want to watch it. Vote 42. Vote 42. What? What? Let's get some, let's get some music going. Grand Prix, we're gonna do five tracks. We're gonna do random. And let's do this. New season of marbles too. It's a new season. I like the positive take on a crazy idea, yeah. Reaching triple elite in a sidewinder with only without ever paying for fuel has already been done, I think, really? Huh. All right, everybody, wake up! Exclamation point play to play. This is my track. I have the record time on the space chase with a minute and 32 seconds. Get on into the track. Type on into your chat window. Exclamation point play to play to get in here and do this. Does anybody here have golf with friends? Because I kind of want to play it and I want to narrate it like we do marbles. And I'm curious. I'm curious if anybody has it. Yeah, some Plax has it. Beyond Aeon has it. All right, we might, we might have to do a golf, a golf evening. A bit much there, yes. That's okay, our jelly. It's all, it, the excitement for the marbles. I could feel it coming through the screen. All right, we have, we have 12 marbles on the track. You didn't even know that one existed, Mechanic Man? Oh. I played that game on New Year's Eve with some friends because we were too drunk for other games. I played it the, for the first time on New Year's Eve. We we tried to play um, Minecraft. No one was drunk, but it didn't go well. Does your cat get lost or stuck in the cheese? Uh, he sleeps in the cheese often. He hasn't really been a big fan of the cheese lately. I don't know why. He's been ignoring the cheese. Cats go through phases, right? All right, is everybody in? We have 13. 13 commanders into the space chase. Let's get this first game of five rolling down the track. Astro Nesto, hello, welcome in. 
ready for welcome. This was our New World Dance song. It perfectly timed to the awkward New World Dance. I kind of, I, I want to log into New World. It's been a while. I, I kind of miss, I miss New World. <laughs> I don't miss it being like the, the auction house being offline, but I, I miss, I miss the fun dancing in our hats and our boots. Our Jolly in the lead with Thundernuts right behind. We've got Never Got on the second track. Sidewinder 40 also in that pack in the front. Let's see if everybody's going to make it through. No, Thundernuts dropping down to the track below. Senor Cuevo already off to Colonia there. Looks like Simplex Pachinko may be in the lead at this point. Hobbit Borg trying to get in there as well. Sidewinder 40, Simplex Pachinko, Hobbit Borg all in that lead. We got, uh, I don't know what happened. What? Where did... Oh well, anyway, looks like Sidewinder 40 with a tiny bit of a lead now, ahead of Simplex Pachinko. Uh, Thundernut down below, so let's see who ends up kind of coming out of this mess in the lead. Looks like Thundernut may have uh, found a little bit of a shortcut by dropping down to the lower track. Looks like we're headed on over to the speed bumps. No, these are yeet pegs. Those aren't speed bumps, those are yeet pegs. Uh, Beyond Aeon yeeting himself off the track. Looks like Thundernut going on in for the paddle. The paddle is going around. Uh, it looks like my record time launched me up and down. And uh, Thundernut beat my record time. Watching you. Simplex Pachinko coming in second place. Never a goat is in third. Who's going to be in fourth place? It looks like Mechanic Man coming in fourth place. We've got... Uh, Hobbit Borg, maybe? Maybe? In fifth? Yes, Hobbit Borg is in fifth. Sixth place goes to Neo Raider. Seventh. Congratulations, Thundernuts. Congratulations on the win and the record time on the track. Seventh went to Astronesto. Eighth went to Sidewinder 40. Ninth went to R. Jolly. All right, let's head into the Twisted Toothpick. Are you guys ready for the Twisted Toothpick? It's twisty, it's toothpicky, and you won't have anything left stuck in your teeth. Looks like Mert is uh, holding the record time here. <gasps> Who was that? Who was that? That was a very fancy, oh, that was a mechanic man with that fancy joining. It was a global record. I don't know if it was a global record. I know it was a track record. Draven, good to see you. Welcome on in. So yes, the record time on this one is a minute and 32. So if you shave a minute off, you'll get close to the global time. So there's a little bit of wiggle room. I don't know how that person did it, but there definitely is some wiggle room. It was close. 128 was the, the global. Ooh. Ooh. That would be really cool. It's been a while since we've set a global. It's been quite a while since we've set a global. All right, is everybody in? Everybody's in that wants to be in. Exclamation point play to play. All the marbles are on the track, getting ready to go. Got lots of veteran marbles on in here. They all know how this track goes. They know how the it twists and turns. And Marco Spore can. Hello, Marco. Gonna slide down and around. All right. I'm working on another multi multi emo combo. The mods have seen some of what I've been working on, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, Hobbit Borg in with an early lead. Senor Quavo right behind as they go into the first of the twists in the Twisted Toothpick. Looks like Mert's record time is way up there in front. Madraven trying to catch up. Senor Quavo and Hobbit Borg headed into the Wangly Danglies with that nice boost right through. Uh, we have a lot of marbles all up in there. It looks like Nevergoat is racing that record time right there. Nevergoat trying to get through and to the other side pretty quickly. Uh, looks like Mar Marvel Scorpion also with a decent uh, place in the Marco. Oh, uh, we got, ooh, we got more. Oh my goodness, we got Morgul, we got Marco, we got Mechanic Man and Robert, and everybody is all piled up. Who is going to get through the other side? 
with the uh, paddle. Looks like Mechanic, nope, Mechanic Man's going back for a little bit more of the paddle. Marco's jumping off the track. And uh, Neo Raider, Neo Raider now in the lead. Neo Raider in the lead going on down into the jump. Will he be able to stay the course and just perfectly land it? We'll see. Morgul Scorpion with some nice bounces going on through the track. Will he land it? <gasps> Morgul Scorpion landing it. And it looks like Morgul Scorpion with the new record time on the track. Congratulations on the win and our local record. Not beating that global one, but definitely a good, solid local record. Two records today. That's how you do it, says Morgul. Neo Raider coming in second place. Mechanic Man with third. Melter of Snowflakes in... Oh, again. Hiccups. Melter of Snowflakes in fourth. Fifth place goes to Simplex Pachinko. I'm in... S Wait. Yes, I'm in sixth. Seventh goes to Never Go and... Looks like Draven and Robert, respectively, wandering in. I know, I know, Senior Quibble, you jumped off the track again. A lot of you guys jumped off the track. So many people. Congratulations, Scorpion. Next track. Right, right, never goes right. You shouldn't have put that double engineered fsd on your marble keeps taking you off the track exclamation point play to play this is taking flight speaking of those fsds make sure that you have atmospheric flight uh on your and you have horizons so that you can fly into atmospheric flight. no that's odyssey <laughs> um that's odyssey you have to have odyssey for atmospherics all right Let's get to uh, <gasps> Team Rockets. Hey, let's get the party going in here, you guys. Get the party going. You can do exclamation point hype. You can do exclamation point drink. Or exclamation point play to play marbles. <laughs> All right, we got 16 marbles on the track. The record on this one, we don't have a local record. You will be able to set the local record on this track. No idea why it does that. On some of these, it keeps the record. Some of them doesn't. It's a new season. Drink to the marbles. I'll be finishing the No Man's Sky Expedition today on the stream of anybody. Oh, really? Well, we don't, we don't advertise other streams on this stream, Scorpion. But if you would like to, we have a channel in the Discord called Promote Yourself. And that is a great place to post that. Oh, we got a chub raid! Ah, nice! Chub raid! All right, here we go. We have 17 marbles on the track. You guys ready to roll? You ready to go? Let's get this going. All right, so this is called Taking Flight. We are up on cloud nine in this case. Looks like the marbles are starting to drop through. We have Melter of Snowflakes without with an early lead, followed closely by Draven and Thundernuts. Looks like Melter of Snowflakes is taking the right-hand track, so is Draven Team Rocket. A lot of balls are going down that side, but Mechanic Man, myself, and a few others are going down the left-hand track. There's some nice uh, roundabouts going on in the clouds. Never knew. There may be um, the approach pattern is quite interesting here. Melter of Snowflake still seems to have a decent lead ahead of everybody else. Thundernuts and Draven tripping over each other trying to catch up. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be much of a competition, but anything could happen because we are going to be headed to the tarmac soon. And on the tarmac is the baggage carriers. The baggage carriers can take a marble out of play pretty easily. Melter of Snowflakes will have the time, though, to... Um, Slow down and watch out for obstacles. Let's see how he does. Oh, no! No! The cargo carrier just messed him up, but he still managed to get in the lead. He's still, he's still managing to stay in the lead here. It looks like uh, Melter of Snowflakes still with the lead. We've got Thundernuts. We've got our Jollyon in there. Who, who else do we have? Who's underneath? Is that Thundernuts? Yeah, Thundernuts and Team Rocket are just on top of each other there. 
So here we go for a nice launch into the next part. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, don't drop a bunch of chubs out inside the station. The mail slot of a station doesn't go well. All right. Melt of snowflakes still in the lead, but the uh, distance is closing and our jolly just surpassed them. Now those two are uh, side by side. Let's just get a quick close up of this ball on ball action. Our jolly just in the lead by a minute little bit. Oh, there was a little bit of a tap and um, Melter of Snowflakes is now in the lead again. Melter of Snowflakes, uh, don't know quite what happened there, but uh, after that conversation looks like he is in first place and our jolly in second. And that is a wrap. That's a wrap Melter of Snowflakes with a win there. Our jolly is in second now. Third place goes to Nevergo. Fourth place, Marco Sportcan. Morgul was fifth. Senor Cuevo finished. Sixth place, Senor uh, Simplex Pachinko is seventh. Sidewinder 40 is eighth. Mechanic Man is ninth. And Team Rocket is tenth. Congratulations. What are the rest of us doing? We're just, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. We're like, man, you know. But everyone, I think everyone survived. I don't think anybody fell off the track this go round. Hogborg, are you going backwards? No, 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 no. The uh, the track is that direction. <laughs> Multi cannons. No, you can't shoot your competitors. <laughs> if I was gonna be second, I'm okay with being second to our jolly. Oh, Melter Snowflake. Couldn't be second to a better, better gentleman. You're true. Very true. <sighs> Pack hounds. All right, congratulations on the wind melter of snowflakes. It was close, it was it was a few seconds there in between. All right, this is the second to last marbles track of this Grand Prix. This is a hop, skip, and a jump. This is Robert's track with a minute and 25 seconds. Minute and 25. Hey, Lord have mercy, welcome in. I am going to get some more water because my voice is totally going. My voice is going, you guys. All right, I'm grabbing some water. I'll be right back. Keep signing up. Tell the new people coming in to sign up. Exclamation point play. All right, we have 19 marbles on the track. <laughs> Driving, it may work. It may give it that extra you know what. All right, so you have to beat a minute and 25 if you want the record on this track. That's gonna be difficult because the global record is a minute and 27 seconds. Ron Len, thank you very much for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on in just in time for the marbles. Get your marble on in here. Marble squirms uncomfortably. Oh no. All right. You guys ready? You ready? Here we go. This is a hop, skip, and a jump. Let's get these marbles rolling. So, looks like uh, just due to the starting position, is the local time faster than the global? It is. It is. You're right. It actually is. Huh. That is very bizarre. You caught that. Huh. So technically we should have the global record. Robert. You got to write to the marbles people. Robbing you of your, your global record. Maybe it was a track change. Maybe. Maybe. 
Maybe it's a new season. Team Rockets out with an early lead, going on through the hamster ball of doom like it wasn't even there. Look at that nice jump on into the catch basin. <laughs> exactly. Bye! Team Rockets AZ is way out in the lead ahead of everybody else. Raw, no! Raw just jumped off the entire track and is gone. Gone. I know, right? Oh, Morgul Scorpion is off the track. Neo Raider is off the track. Nevergoat is off the track. Roberts record time looks like it's doing pretty well. Looks like Team Rockets uh yes, 15 months of yeet! <laughs> yeet! Right off the track. Completely. So Roberts record time is intact. But Team Rockets is pretty darn close right there. Pretty darn close with that win. They are. They are rockets. That's true. Who's going to be in number two? Looks like Thundernuts. And your Quavo's third. Fourth is Draven. Fifth is going to be Mechanic Man. Sixth is Lord Have Mercy. Seventh is Cypher D. Cypher D, when did you show up? Hello, Cypher D. Sidewinder 40 is in 8th place. Hobbit Borg is in ninth, And 10th goes to Melter of Snowflakes. Watch out, Snowflakes. Melter's coming for ya. Alright, this is our last Bobbles race of the night. This jump didn't work yet. Oh, and there's an ad. We have a shun! I have a new favorite song. Obviously, it's copyrighted, so I can't play it on stream. But uh, it's called Mi Amor Remix. It's just very catchy. It's very, very catchy. Alright. 16 marbles on the track. We're still waiting for the last few contestants to uh, pick themselves up off of the last track where they jumped off into the blue and uh, fell to their deaths. So we've had to revive them. Luckily, we had the clones on standby so we could uh, pick them back up. Where's Unlawful Raffle? Unlawful Raffle's too busy to be here, apparently. Mechanic Man dropping on in, looking very fancy with that uh, pepper hat there. Nice pepper hat. <gasps> it's a Mimo with a Pally. I don't know if we need healing light here. I don't know if we need healing light. How are you doing? <laughs> Exclamation point play to play. Team Rocket sneaking on in there. Uh, is it supposed to be muted? No. It's supposed to be there. The music is supposed to be there. This is the DMCA free stuff. Yes. Oh, yes. No, 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 no. This is the DMCA free stuff. That's why I was like, I can't play it, but I like it. I like it a lot. It made me think of that particular song was a different one, though. All right, guys. Last game. Exclamation point play to play. Double check that you're in on this game just in case you never know. Okay, all the marbles in line. Everybody ready? We are gonna hit this. This is the last marbles game of the night. Don't miss out as we see who wins the entire Grand Prix all at once. Alright. Yay! Never goats passing drinks around. Thank you. Thank you for the cold drink. 
Looks like Senior Quevel had an early start, but got hung up on one of the heat pegs. Beyond Aeon going pretty darn fast here. Looks like Beyond Aeon got stuck on the dangly wanglies. Who's going to make it out the other side? Looks like Hobbit Borg. Hobbit Borg making it out through the other side, getting stuck a little bit there. Beyond Aeon off. <laughs> Oof. The wangle and the dangle took him all the way out and uh, never go jumped off the track as well. Marco Sporkhand jumping off the track, trying to get the, uh, yes, exactly. Scorpion in the lead. Uh, looks like Hobbit Borg Sidewinder 40 jumping off the track as well. Everybody is jumping off on this one. This one is not keeping many marbles on board. It looks like Morgul Scorpion is in the lead by a decent amount. Hobbit Borg did not stick the landing there. Morgul Scorpion going on through one of the last of the wangly danglies. We're zooming out just so we can see what everybody is doing. No idea. You may have over to yourself there. Never go wrong line again. Ra yeeting himself off into oblivion. Morgul's slowing down there. Morgul's letting Simplex Pachinko catch up. Pachinko gives him a little bit of a bump and Scorpion is off to the races. Scorpion may have this one completely done. Uh, this is Pixel's death alley, so um, no surprise there that a lot of people are dying. Let's see if Simplex Pachinko can catch up or overtake Scorpion, but Scorpion seems to have this one solidly in their corner yes it seems we have a winner it is a morgul scorpion congratulations scorpion that's your second win for the night right consistent place right right you're like Me, i'm off heretic a little bit too late a little bit too late there melter of snowflakes in third place i have a bet i bet i bet melter is gonna be on the podium I know, I know. Uh, Cypher D coming in fourth place. We got Mechanic Man there in fifth. Robertson sixth. Seventh is our Jolly Lord. Have mercy is in eighth. Thunder Nuts jumping off at the last minute. Did not want to finish that race. <laughs> Senior Quavo. Yep, Scorpion. Nice. Nice. Most of us jumped off the track. Let's be honest. So do we want bets? Do we want bets? Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Melter Snowflakes is writing an email to an old friend. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Who? Who wins the Grand Prix? Third place of the Grand Prix goes to Thundernuts. Second place goes to Melter Snowflakes. Who is first? Scorpion, the Grand Prix winner. Congratulations on your winning of everything. Fourth place was Simplex Pachinko. Fifth place was Team Rocket. Sixth place went to Mechanic Man. Never Goat got seventh. Eighth went to Senor Cuevo. Our Jolly got ninth. And Neo Raider came in tenth place. Congratulations, you guys. That was quite the marbles game. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for joining us in moon farming, in marbles, hanging out. <laughs> Cheers. Good question, Ronline. Good question. Not sure. Maybe because you did less races. I don't know. I don't. Because Beyond Aeon likes likes making sure. No, never mind. Never mind. Beyond Aeon finally got his hot ass. If you guys didn't know that. He finally got his, his ho toss. It's been like a month and a half, two months of waiting. <laughs> Team Rocket, right? That's such an easy in you win to make and you passed on it. I know, Mechanic Man. I did. I did. I passed. I passed up on it. <laughs> it is not. It is not. It's just my. It's just my water glass. Mmm. Astronesto. That's a good question. All that information's in the Discord under the Tech Channel. Techgasm. Yes. A toast to BA's new hot ass. Mmm. All right, guys. That's it for tonight. <laughs> Thank you.
you, thank you for joining me on this wild ride tonight. It's been fun to test out moon farming. Moon farming. And uh, hello, Ghost Goblin! Coming in right as we were wrapping up. It's nice to meet you. We're headed out. We just finished doing a lovely Grand Prix. Went really well. <laughs> so, we're gonna figure out who we're gonna pass the love along to tonight. So the boss bar is closing. We're all gonna get ready to figure out where we're headed next. Hmm. Hmm. Could always go visit, um, we could always go visit. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. I know who we're gonna go say hi to. Mm, awesome, awesome, awesome commander, you guys. Know them, you're gonna enjoy hanging out. They are very good with conspiracy theories, the lore, things like that. I heard scratching and it wasn't in his cheese. Hold on. We're pausing the raid for a second. Did you really? Did you really just go scratch the couch instead of your scratching thing? Is that really what you were doing? Is that really what you decided to go do? Toby! There's a cougar in the chat! There's a cougar in the chat! Alright, I'm gonna see if I can trick him into doing the thing that he did earlier. Okay, let's see if we can get him to do this. Come here. You gonna do it? Not sure. I'm not sure if he'll do it. Come on! No, he's not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, we gotta pause for the floof. Gotta pause for the floof. The master floof. Are you sleepy? What's going on? You're sleepy. There we go. Let's get you some purrs. There you guys can hear the purr. But anyway, I think you're gonna enjoy where we're going on this raid. Get some elite dangerous lore, some conspiracy theories, some interesting stories going on. He just totally stole the show. You too did. You stole the show. Completely. What you doing? <laughs> He's like, mm, I think one down now. Yep. What you doing? He's gonna go sit behind me, isn't he? Yep, there he goes. Cats. The Elite Dangerous. Maybe? Yeah, the Elite Dangerous server is going down in five minutes. True, true. The Elite Dangerous is going down. That's a good choice, though, because you'll be entertained. Cats. Cats. All right. The boss bar is closing. Please get your last drink in a to-go cup. I don't care if it's coffee or a mixed drink. Put it in your cup. Let's go on over to the next establishment. This place is a little bit weird, a little bit funky, but I think you're going to enjoy the vibe and the stories on over there. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you made my night. I appreciate you guys being here and farming on the moon with me. WK Jez, thank you for the two years of support. Much appreciated. Let's go say hello to Commander Guru. Get your favorite emote combo together. All right. <laughs> okay, hi, bye. <laughs> favorite emote.
notes and uh, let's go Ruck Gurus Socks, okay? And um, I think you can be sassy. You don't have to stay classy over there. You can, you can definitely be sassy. All right, see you guys later.